You're watching WMAR 2 News. A 12 year old girl is in critical condition after being shot while standing inside of a restaurant waiting for food. I'm Christian Schaefer with your WMAR 2 News update. The bullet came from outside the restaurant in Prince George's County. This is an incident that was caught on surveillance camera and that's the video. It actually happened last Friday, but the video shows a person standing through the sunroof of a car and shooting toward the strip mall. This is in the Capitol Heights area. One of the bullets hit the little girl in the restaurant. Please do not believe she was the intended target. They're looking for that car, a dark colored four door sedan, possibly an infinity with tinted windows and chrome trim. One of the zebras that's been roaming around Prince George's County after escaping from a farm has died. The initial report back in August was that it was five zebras that had escaped from a farm there in Prince George's County. Now the Washington Post is reporting it was actually only three that escaped and one of them, according to a new report from the Maryland Natural Resources Police, was found dead back on September the 16th, so nearly a month ago. That zebra had been caught in a snare trap. It is illegal to set that kind of a trap in Prince George's County. PG County Police now involved in the investigation into the death of that zebra. <clears throat> the other two are still believed to be out there. And for the first time ever, the Morgan State University Choir will perform at M&T Bank Stadium on Sunday, singing the national anthem before the Ravens Chargers game. Sound great on Thursday. The choir perform in person for the first time since the start of the pandemic, so nearly two years ago now. And this was a celebration of the university's fine and performing arts convocation. And now from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. Happy Friday, everyone. On this Friday, we are tracking a nice mix of sun and clouds out there. Also tracking near record warmth as we head into the afternoon and the next chance for showers and thunderstorms roll in tomorrow. And some of those storms could be on the strong to severe side. The future cast not picking up on a whole lot for today, but by tomorrow afternoon, that's when we'll start to see some of those thunderstorms roll in. And the Storm Prediction Center actually does have us in a marginal risk. So on a scale of one to five, a level one damage and gusty wind will be the primary threat for today. A high temperature right around 85 degrees, especially if we get more sunshine lingering for a while. Then as we head into Sunday, windy out there and much cooler. That temperature coming in right around 65. Christian? Lynette, thanks very much. Stay with us online at WMAR2news.com. All day long, four updates on top stories and breaking news. And for news weather on the go, you can download the WMAR2 News app from the App Store or just follow us on social media at WMAR2 News. Thanks for watching. I'm Christian Schaefer. This WMAR2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.